And you know, any number of things in life can cause stress. Can cause stress. I think about the little boy that came out, came out of the bathroom screaming, Mom, oh, Mom. Oh. She said, What? He said, I broke your toothbrush in the toilet. Oh. And so she goes in there, it's okay, it's okay. She consoles him and she fishes it out of the toilet and she immediately throws it in the trash. And he, he's dramatic. And I said, Oh, I didn't throw my toothbrush away. I want my toothbrush. She said, Oh, sweetie. When he goes in the toilet, you got to throw it away. He said, Whoa. And his eyes got big, and he took off running, and he came back with his mom's toothbrush. He said, better throw this one away, too. It dropped in the toilet two days ago. Well, any number of things just cause stress, is that right? <laughs> things happen all the time. Well, let me tell you, the Lord wants to minister to our hearts. Yes, he wants to minister to our circumstances, but the Lord wants to minister to our hearts. He really wants us to live in peace. He really wants us to live in joy. And he said, if you follow me and you'll let me lead you in your decisions and what you do, I'll lead you into places of peace. I'll lead you into places of joy. Now, here's something we need to know. Following our emotions will lead us into the demonic realm. Following our emotions and making decisions based on our emotions open us up to the demonic realm. You remember Saul, the king before David, and how he disobeyed God, and he was emotionally driven to make decisions instead of following the word of the Lord and trusting God and just doing what God said to do, he followed his emotions. And by following his emotions, eventually he opened himself up to what the Bible calls a distress.